Now in this part of the video, you've probably never heard about this little booger mosquito that will kick your ass. Thailand, Thailand, Rob. I came down here on the beach today to give you a follow-up on the dengue fever situation. Because dengue fever is such a big deal, I wanted to give you guys a follow-up on kind of what happened and kind of where I'm at now and then something I didn't even know about until about four days ago. Those of you that know, I got dengue fever a couple of weeks ago. Friday will have been two weeks ago where I got bit by a mosquito that had dengue fever. I contracted it with the sudden onset of a worst flu uh, type symptoms and fever that you probably ever experienced. As one of the other vloggers that I know used to say, imagine flu, times it by a million, and then uh, you're somewhere in the ballpark. I don't think it was times a million, but it's not, they don't call it the bone crusher for nothing. So after being diagnosed and monitoring my blood platelet count and blood white count, white blood cell count, every kind of blood count that you can imagine, and keeping that safe, that is the part of dengue fever that uh, is deadly, is that you can lose uh, so much platelets in your blood that you'll actually hemorrhage to death. So you don't want to joke around with dengue fever at all. If you get a heavy, heavy flu type symptom, please just go to the doctor. It's a simple blood test. It takes 15 minutes, but at least you'll know where you are, where you stand, and if you should go to the hospital immediately or if you have a couple days to see what's going to happen. The same time that I was getting over the initial fever of dengue fever was on a Thursday, and I got a message from Fawn. Any of you that follow me for a long time, you know Fawn up in Bangkok's my like number one. She taught me more about Thailand than probably anybody here for the first six months that I ever lived in Thailand. She sent me a message saying that she felt like she was sick as well. And I didn't know at the time that I still had dengue fever. So the next day I sent her a message that said, oh, I've got dengue fever. And she said, oh, I might have it as well. And she sent me this photo of her leg. I told her to go immediately to the doctor and get a simple blood test, and she said that she was going to do it the next day. Now, in this part of the video, you've probably never heard about this little booger mosquito that will kick your ass. Chikungunya, not chicken like fried chicken. C-H-I, cha, chikungunya. Yeah, you've heard of dengue fever, but you never heard of chikungunya. Well, I didn't either. So imagine that it's everything of dengue fever minus death. So it's dengue fever light. So she said that she was writhing in fever and pain and rash. And just everything that sounds exactly like what you would have with dengue fever. Except that chicken chikungunya doesn't have the, the bonus of added uh, possible death onto it. So immediately they gave her medicines to make her feel better, but she said she couldn't get rid of the pain. The fever had gone, but she still had the pain. Her symptoms will last, just like dengue fever with me, it will last for one solid week, but it doesn't affect the blood the exact same way that dengue fever does. So there's two little booger mosquitoes over here that can bite you and make your trip completely miserable. Usually it's going to take five to seven days after you get bit before you start getting the uh, symptoms of it. So you'll still probably have your decent vacation, then all of a sudden on your trip home is probably when it's gonna kick in and that's what all the doctors say in all the articles. They say, if you've traveled in past tense, if you have traveled to any of these countries that support these mosquitoes, to be careful and that you'll probably get the symptoms after you've returned. I have never feared mosquitoes quite as much as I do now. It's just, when I see one, I just have a little small panic attack. It actually was that bad. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and say the dengue fever was something light that you could just uh, take a couple of paracetamols and your headache's gone and you'll feel fine. Not, not a chance. I'm sitting here paranoid now, always looking at my ankles to see mosquitoes. So I'll put a link in the description about dengue fever and I'll also put a link in there about the chikungunya and you can read up on that. The main thing is basically just use your mosquito repellent 
I'm not gonna tell you don't go outside and just be scared and scared and scared. It's not fun at all to get any of these. But once you get the one strain, at least you pretty much can't get that strain again. Uh, if I read correctly, even with chikungunya, once you get bitten by it, um, I don't know how many strains there are in chikungunya. But I know in dengue fever there's four, so once you've acquired all four, you should be immune from there on out. But I'll tell you what, if you're going into round three or four, don't even, don't even consider not going to the hospital because you are going to be in such a scary predicament with your blood count that you're gonna to need to be monitored 24 hours a day until you are done. And that could be up to two weeks in the hospital. It, it could be just three days, but it could be up to two weeks, depending on your age. Uh, children and older people a lot longer in the hospital, whereas younger people may only have to stay in three to five days, just depending on your blood count. So all in all, me and Fawn are both on the men. I just wanted to give you a follow-up because this is a very serious topic. I would never even think about making a video back-to-back -back on the same topic, but this one is damn well worth you getting all the information you can so if you ever get sick, a little bit quickly you can get to the doctor get yourself a blood test get checked out get better and enjoy the rest of your trip and don't avoid thailand because of these stupid little mosquitoes because they're in brazil and mexico and they're also in all kinds of places so you can't run away from them forever hopefully you'll never just have to meet one it's black white little stripes on its legs it's scary looking as hell that's it i got nothing else to go on i'm feeling better thank you all for all the support Thank you for the well wishes. So guys, please do me a favor. Hit that like button for the information. Read the information down below. Subscribe to this so you can find out how not to die in Thailand. Yeah. Oh. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Goody, goody. Don't forget that. <laughs>